Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is finally coming to cinemas this May after a long wait for Marvel fans, and we even have the first trailer to enjoy. Following the release of the holiday special in late November 2022, Marvel unveiled the trailer for Vol 3. It gave us our first look at Adam Warlock and also teased an emotional end to the trilogy. The holiday special revealed some changes to the team since we last saw them as they now live in Noher, which they bought from the Collector. They've got a new ship called the Bowie, and they also now hang out with adorable telekinetic dog Cosmo. But what else can we expect from the threequel? Here's everything you need to know about Guardians of the Galaxy Vol 3. We've had to wait longer than expected, but Guardians of the Galaxy Vol 3 will finally be released in cinemas on May 5, 2023. The movie filmed from November 2021 to May 2022 and to make the most of the sets, the holiday special, which you can watch right now on Disney+, Plus, was filmed at the same time and is set between Thor, Love and Thunder in the third movie. The threequel has actually already set a new world record with its filming as it surpassed the Grinch for the most makeup appliances created for a single production. Impressive. As mentioned above, the first trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy Vol 3 was released on December 1, 2022, following its exclusive debut at Comic-Con in July. We'll see Chris Pratt return as Star-Lord, Dave Bautista as Drax, Karen Gillan as Nebula. Bradley Cooper as Rocket, Vin Diesel as Groot and Palm Clementif as Mantis. After the events of Avengers, Endgame, we'll also be seeing Zoe Saldana as Gamora again. Saldana has said she'd want to explore a bad Gamora in the third Guardians movie, which in the trailer footage seems less like a villainous arc and more of an unempathetic one. She has also been teasing the threequel story, and it sounds like we'll need tissues. There's a lot of melancholy here, but also pride that we've achieved something great. James Gunn has written a beautiful story that's making us emotional even as we shoot it, she noted. She added in October 2022 that it was a very sweet departure which hopefully means a happy ending. The trailer confirmed that the new Gamora has joined the Ravagers since the last time we saw her. Sean Gunn is back as Kraglin, Yondu's one-time Ravager pal, and Elizabeth Debicki could also return as Ayesha, with the star up for a return. I would love, even if I just sort of scooch on for a second. I mean, I would love to come back, she said. In the second movie, she was seen with Adam Warlock, but the trailer didn't show her return. Sylvester Stallone's Stakar is back as well, so that could signal a return for his fellow Ravagers. Aletta Ogord, Charlie 27, Mainframe and Martin X in the MCU's future. New to the cast are Will Poulter as Adam Warlock, making his official debut after being teased in one of Guardians Vol 2's credit scenes. Peacemaker star Chakwudi Iwuji is the High Evolutionary, while Daniela Melkier, and Nico Santos are both in undisclosed roles. The surprise addition to the cast was Borat 2 star Maria Bakalova as Cosmo the Space Dog, who was previously spotted in the Collector's Museum in the first movie. One person we definitely won't be seeing is Michael Rooker as Yondu, who sacrificed himself to save Star-Lord in the second movie. As I've said before, Yondu is dead and will stay dead as long as I'm involved with the Guardians, Gunn tweeted. His death means something to people and I'm not about to diminish that. Rooker reprised his role for the holiday special, but it was just in an animated flashback to his earlier days with Peter. Along with the first trailer, we received the first official synopsis for Guardians of the Galaxy Vol 3, and it leads us to worry. Our beloved band of misfits are looking a bit different these days. Still reeling from the loss of Gamora, Peter Quill must rally his team around him to defend the universe and protect one of their own, it reads. A mission that, if not completed successfully, could quite possibly lead to the end of the Guardians as we know them. We've always known that the third movie would mark the end of this trilogy, and Gunn has promised that it'll serve as the epic conclusion to the story he began in 2014's Guardians of the Galaxy. The movie is set to bring an end to this current version of the team on screen, an energy that was certainly palpable in the footage teased at Comic-Con. Could it be Chris Pratt's final outing as Star-Lord? He's not yet ruling out an MCU return. 4. Love and Thunder did provide us with a bit of an idea as to what the Guardians will be up to next. 